with the invention of microscope, Anton van Leeuwenhoek found a few living organisms that can be seen only under a microscope. They cannot be seen through naked eyes. Now, these microorganisms, they float around singularly, as in only one cell, but they are not as compact or they do not form clusters like plant cells or animal cells. These unicellular organisms or single-celled organisms are microscopic and they are known as protozoa, where proto means old. Now, if you compare this unicellular organism with an animal cell, then cell structure-wise, they are almost similar. And that is why it is thought that animals have evolved from this old form of cells. Now, you might have seen ponds like these, which have a greenish dust-like layer on top. Well, even these are unicellular microorganisms, but unlike protozoa, they stay in clusters. These microorganisms, they contain the green pigment known as chlorophyll and so can perform photosynthesis. This group of living organism that contains chlorophyll is known as algae. Now you might have seen this bread getting stale. Now bread gets stale only when these organisms grow on bread. Now these organisms are visible to our naked eyes, but its structure is not visible through our naked eyes. So even these are classified under microorganisms because only under the microscope you will be able to see the entire structure of these organisms. These organisms, unlike algae, do not contain the green pigment and so cannot manufacture their own food. And these, this class of living organism is known as fungus. So microscopic organisms can be divided into protozoa, algae and fungi, which is the plural of fungus. Now with the advent of electron microscope, it was seen that all these microorganisms that we discussed about, they have a compact nucleated cell. That is, their nucleus have a proper nuclear membrane and all the nuclear materials are enclosed within the nucleus. But soon, another unicellular microorganism was discovered which did not have a compact nucleus. Its nuclear materials were scattered throughout the cell. This microorganism is known as bacteria and it causes a lot of diseases in man. So finally, microscopic organisms can be classified into protozoa, algae, fungi, and finally, bacteria.